This video will be used to explain how to operate your John Deere planter using the active downforce control. With this option, the system will automatically adjust downforce to maintain a constant row unit margin. Maintaining a constant row unit margin will help ensure optimal planting performance as conditions change. Active downforce is enabled by checking the active PDF checkbox. This will change the input on the SeedStar run page from pounds of downforce in set point control to target margin. Active downforce can be identified by the active PDF icon. First, plant a small strip using the default target margin or 75 pounds as a starting point. The strip should be long enough to allow the planter to achieve this amount of margin. Before stopping, note the high and low margin values found on the planter downforce run page in the details section. Complete an in-ground check as detailed in the Understanding Margin video. Once this in-ground check is completed, it's time to make adjustments. If the in-ground check shows that too little downforce margin is being carried by the gauge wheels, target margin needs to be increased in the downforce control panel. We recommend increasing by at least 10 to 15 pound increments. If the in-ground check shows signs of compaction or too much margin, then target margin needs to be decreased. Operating range for the target margin is 15 to 200 pounds. Repeat the process until the in-ground check shows the correct row unit margin. Press and hold one of the SeedStar XP navigation buttons to enter the Alarms and Limits page. This will allow you to set the target margin value as well as customize your alarms. The upper and lower alarms are set based on a percentage of the target value. If you would prefer a different value, simply enter it into the input box. The planter will store this new value and change future alarms based on the new percentage. Once this is set as your target margin, it sets this as the center line of the planter at a glance bar chart. Resume planting. During operation, the downforce button will highlight orange if a row unit is approaching an alarm and highlight red if an alarm has been exceeded. This means there is more or less than desired margin on a particular row indicated by the row unit bars. The downforce run page will also display the current PDF pressure in the airbag circuit. This is the pressure or downforce exerted on the row unit at that given moment. This value will vary as the system actively controls to your target margin value. There may be situations where too much margin is unavoidable or too much margin is not a concern. This can especially be true for planters with three bushel hoppers and light, easy to penetrate soils. In these cases, if the excess margin is not causing compaction or concern, then the upper margin alarm can be increased to avoid nuisance alarms. If this extra margin is not desired, it can be removed with mechanical upforce springs. A few things to note. We have found that many producers were running more downforce than necessary in the past. But be careful to not allow margin values to decrease to the point where consistent depth might be sacrificed. Also, be sure to zero all PDF and downforce sensors before each season to ensure accuracy.